skies tonight. So clear, it is a perfect eye to look at the heavens. Chief Meteorologist Jeff Lyons is scar gazing right now mm -hmm. in downtown Evansville. Yeah, that's part of the job. When you're a meteorologist, you look for meteors part of the time. We have some huge telescopes set up down here by the Evansville Astronomical Society, and we're going to tell you all about 100 hours of astronomy in just a minute. Enjoy these clear skies now because we have storms on the way. In fact, the Storm Prediction Center has a slight risk for severe weather over the tri-state tomorrow, and that's going to stem from an area of low pressure that's going to swing through and bring clouds. We can already see a few clouds over the moon now. Looks like the substantial severe weather will stay to the south, but we could still see a few strong storms tomorrow. Here's a satellite pic. You can see those clouds now creeping in from the west, and that means uh, at bus time in the morning, the temperature will be right around 42 and partly cloudy skies at the sunrise at 633. And uh, if you're curious about uh, astronomy, if you've ever, if you've never looked through a telescope, this event is for you. For the next four nights, there are several events around the tri-state, and I'll have a graphic here for you in a minute. This is Mike Borman with the uh, Evansville Astronomical Society and his machine over here, the big telescope. And behind us, Mike, tell us what we're seeing on the screen there behind us. Uh, right here, we've got the uh, Pleiades star cluster. Uh, and the significance of that is that the light that left those stars left there 400 years ago when Galileo first looked through a telescope at the night sky. Right, so you don't even have to stoop down to look in there. And if you want to have more astronomical experiences, here's a graphic to tell you what's going on for the next couple of uh, days. We have, of course, tomorrow night uh, the 400 years of astronomy talk over at uh, Audubon Park. That'll start at 7 o'clock. Weather probably won't be very good for stargazing anyway. Friday, if you've never been out to Juan Seidler Observatory in Linville, check that out. They're having a stargaze there. And Saturday, you can get in on a free planetarium show at the Evansville Museum. For more details, you can uh, just Google the EAS, right? That's right. Evansville yeah. Astronomical Society, and you can find out all about it. I'll be back with uh, more details on the bad weather in just a few minutes. The newest jobless figures in Kentucky show unemployment rose in every county from a low of 7%.